Welcome to our video on six cutting-edge technologies NASA is exploring through its NIAC program. The NASA Innovative Advanced Concepts Program, or NIAC, funds groundbreaking technologies intended to revolutionize future space missions. In early 2024, NASA selected six studies for Phase II awards, providing up to $600,000 over two years for further development. These pioneering projects span advanced space telescopes, propulsion systems, novel power sources, and lunar transport systems. By collaborating with entrepreneurs and conducting innovative research, NASA aims to overcome current challenges and achieve major advancements in space exploration. First up, we have the Fluidic Telescope, or FLUT. This concept, led by Edward Balaban at NASA's Ames Research Center, uses ionic liquids to create massive mirrors through fluidic shaping. Unlike traditional, solid mirrors, the fluidic approach offers a cost-effective solution for observing faint celestial objects. Targets include young galaxies, Earth-like exoplanets, and first-generation stars. Flute envisions a large, unsegmented liquid primary mirror with sub-nanometer surface quality, produced in microgravity. Limited to a 50-meter diameter, this design contrasts with the 6.5-meter-wide primary mirror of the James Webb Space Telescope offering enhanced potential through its larger and more efficient design. Next, we have the Pulsed Plasma Rocket, or PPR. This rocket technology utilizes nuclear fission to produce plasma packets, offering thrust up to 100,000 newtons and a specific impulse of up to 5,000 seconds. The PPR could drastically reduce the time to travel to Mars, potentially making the journey in just two months. Led by Brianna Clements at Howe Industries, the focus is on a smaller, simpler, and more affordable version of pulsating fission fusion. Capable of supporting heavily shielded human spacecraft, this technology could enable long-range missions to destinations such as the asteroid belt and the solar gravitational lens at 550 astronomical units. Moving on, the Great Observatory for Long Wavelengths, or Go Low, represents a step forward in radio astronomy. Led by Mary Knapp at MIT, GOLO aims to create a mega-constellation low-frequency radio telescope. Using thousands of autonomous smallsats, this project measures magnetic fields and gathers cosmic background data. GOLO's design positions the telescopes at an Earth-Sun Lagrange point and uses an interferometric array, allowing long-wavelength detection without ionospheric interference. Each smallsat acts as a node, with a few dedicated to communication and computation ensuring efficient data transmission to Earth via laser communications. Now, let's explore the radioisotope thermoradiative cell power generator. Spearheaded by Stephen Pauly at the Rochester Institute of Technology, this project focuses on an efficient in-space power source for small spacecraft. The innovation lies in converting heat from a radioisotope into electricity, similar to how a solar cell works, but in reverse. The study aims to achieve a 25-fold improvement in mass-specific power and a significant reduction in volume compared to older systems. This efficiency boost could support small sat missions to outer planets and operations in permanently shadowed regions like lunar craters. The fifth technology is the flexible levitation on a track, or float. This robotic lunar railway system uses magnetically levitating robots on a flexible film track for reliable payload transport on the moon. Led by Ethan Shaler at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, FLOAT aims to support sustainable lunar operations envisioned for the 2030s. The system deploys robots that levitate passively over a three-layer track, unrolled directly onto the lunar surface. This method minimizes dust abrasion compared to traditional robots with moving parts, enabling transport of up to 100,000 kilograms per day. Phase two will focus on minimizing risks related to the manufacture, deployment, and long-term operation of robots and tracks. Finally, we have the Science Craft for Outer Planet Exploration, or SCOPE. This spacecraft features imagers embedded in its solar sails, which are usually used solely for propulsion. By incorporating quantum dot-based sensors, SCOPE offers an innovative approach to observation missions, making them lighter and more cost-effective. Led by Mahmouda Sultana at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, SCOPE is designed to study the outer planets like Neptune and Uranus. The integrated spectrometer, printed directly onto the solar sail, allows for unparalleled data collection efficiency and rapid travel. 
This unique design makes Scope a versatile tool for future missions, with multiple launch opportunities as a secondary payload. These six innovative technologies represent the future of space exploration. From a fluidic telescope and a pulsed plasma rocket, to a lunar railway system and quantum dot-based sensors, NASA's NIAC program is paving the way for groundbreaking advancements. These projects not only embody the cutting edge of aerospace research, but also show incredible potential for reshaping our understanding and capabilities in space. Stay tuned for more updates as these revolutionary technologies continue to evolve through NASA's rigorous development phases. Thanks for watching and keep aspiring for the